microphone that goes a little further. Okay. So namaste, we're back for round two. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready. So now we're going to have a session of questions and answer. Like the game show, ask your question. <laughs> So yes, uh, did you have a question or a comment? It was said that... It was said. If there's thoughts, they must be important. Oh, <laughs> 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 If there's thoughts, they must be important. Please comment. Somebody commented no, I'm on that? I'm asking you. Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. No, just because it's thoughts doesn't necessarily mean they're important. You can have all sorts of extraneous thoughts running around there that are not connected to anything. So the only importance <coughs> to them is what you yourself are giving it and caught up with it and cultivating with it. Okay? But ultimately, really, how important is it? That's again that same thing, you know, when you begin to, you know, step back into witness state and can begin at that point to witness the mind and the influx of all of this nonsense that comes up. And sometimes, you know, that's the value of going to these things like vipassana, you know, where you're sitting for, what is it, five days they do or ten days at a time they go. So uh, the value of it is you're sitting there, you've got nowhere to go, you're not having interaction with anyone, and you just see all this drama coming up in the thought. But it's not connected with anything that's happening. All you're doing is sitting. <laughs> and yet this drama is going on. You know, oh, my relationship this, my relationship that, yada, 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 yada. Then it goes on, oh, I wish I were up, I don't want to sit here, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> then it goes off on another subject, again, another yada, yada, yada. And eventually you get that, that you know, it's just random stuff. It comes and it goes. And the more you pay attention to it, the more the storyline grows and the bigger it gets. But really, what's happening in that moment? Nothing. You're sitting. So what does all this have to do with the sitting? 99% of it, nothing. <laughs> the follow-up question is, well, don't I need those thoughts for planning? Don't you need those <laughs> thoughts for planning? <laughs> I don't know. People have this idea that when the mind stills and the mind stops, that one can't think. Well, that's not true. The brain at that point becomes a tool, that's all. You know, what needs to take place will take place. That's why we say it's in flow, you know, what needs to come up does. Spontaneously, it comes up. But really, what all does one need to plan for? You know, that's one of God's great joke lines. Oh, so you've got a plan. <laughs> you've got a plan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, no, it doesn't mean that one, you know, can't think or, you know, that you can't plan. But be ready for your plans to be interrupted. <laughs> Now an interruption by our sponsor. <laughs> and the sponsor God, you know, takes precedence over your plans. So, you know. <laughs> be ready for your plans to be interrupted. You know. So, yeah, yeah, people can make plans. That's not a problem. You can have some sort of goals. It's not a problem. 
That is, if you don't mind them being changed along the way. <laughs> because change happens. Change happens. And that's part of, of, you know, again, going with a path, being willing to see that the transient is change. The transient is always change. In every moment it's change. And if you don't like your karma now, then change your actions now and the karma in the future will change. Okay? Yes? So, you're saying if you have a calendar, mm -hmm. that's quite fine. Just don't believe that, don't believe that it's real, that it's actually going to happen. Well, yeah. I mean, you can have a calendar. You can have events that are going to take place and maybe they will and maybe they won't. So not being attached. But don't be attached to it. That's part of Vairagya. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, great. Then another opportunity is in store. Okay? That's all. You have to be willing to have give and take. Because each year we plan this retreat, I'm always wondering if it's really going to happen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine if it does. It's fine if it does. <laughs> it happens great. If it doesn't, okay. You okay. know, the life goes on. You know, no matter what it is, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, life goes on. That's it. That's it. You know, people, they, they have all of these attachments, and, and this is what, you know, the first thing that Buddha saw is, you know, you have these attachments, and you don't want anything to change. But life is change. And I don't care, you know, we'll use a gun, go back to the mate. You know, if you have the most perfect mate on the planet, eventually it's going to end. One way or another. You know, people leave the body, leave the form. Well, when that attachment and that person goes, then what happens? Then you have suffering again. If you can't accept that life is change, things come, they have their time, and it goes, and it changes. You know, like the seasons, ever revolving, ever revolving. So that's why it's a constant journey. It's always an adventure. Okay? Every moment's an adventure, something new. You don't know what's coming up next. That's part of the fun. The great mystery, what's going to happen next. Okay? So, come to that stillness and that awareness and pure awareness rather than projecting. And then if you have a projection and your projection doesn't take place, then you're in suffering again. Better to say, I don't know what's going to happen, and let's see what's around the next corner. What experience do I get to have next? What's, what's coming up? Rather than say, it has to be this way, or this way, or that way, and then if it's not, then again, I'm, you know, what's wrong? And then you go in another spin of another cycle of something else, you know? So yeah, be open to the unknown. Be open to it. That's what one finds in the end, the unknowing that's beyond knowledge. Okay? And then you just enjoy life, what it is, what comes. In every moment, it's a new adventure. It's a new existence. Existence is always coming and going. It always has starts and finishes and ends and new beginnings in every second. Every second. So this idea that you can't change your life or whatever, that's a fallacy. You have one thought, it's one existence. You have another thought, it's a new existence. Something different coming on the plate. Okay. Sometimes, though, we need to wash the plate and clear it. <laughs> <laughs> So be willing to wash the plate. <laughs> the dishwasher. The dishwasher, yes. That's what Guru is. That's what I was saying. <laughs> That's what Guru is. Guru is the dishwasher. Sure, put it on me, okay? Put the plate away.
<laughs> Vacuum cleaner, dishwasher. I've done, I've done a lot of dishes in my time. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently I'm still washing dishes. <laughs>